It's the Daily Dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today. Okay, y'all. It is the start of a new week. It is a Monday, and y'all know what's happening. It is a Metal Monday today, and I am excited that you are with me because for the first time on the channel, we are looking at music from the band Avenged Sevenfold, and I'm looking forward to it. So I was thinking if there's ever going to be a time appropriate for me to do a song called afterlife it's the monday after easter and that's where we are so that's what we're looking at afterlife from avenged sevenfold this song is from their self-titled fourth album released in 2007 the song is credited to the band the songwriting is credited to the band but as i read in it was really spearheaded and written by the rev the band's former drummer uh, who sadly, this would be his last uh, album with the band before his untimely death in 2009. Uh, so as I was reading in, y'all, I was all ready to do the the music video of this, the official video, and I realized that uh, it's only four minutes and two seconds long, but the studio version of this song is five minutes and 53 seconds. So I'm like, okay, what did they cut? Uh, what am I missing? And apparently they cut a string section introduction as well as a string section later in the song uh, for the video itself. And I'm like, well, I, I want to hear the string section. So let's listen to the original studio recording. And that's what we're doing today. So we've got M Shadows on lead vocals, Zachy Vengeance on rhythm guitar, The Rev on drums and percussion and backing vocals, Sinister Gates on lead guitar and backing vocals, and Johnny Christ on bass and backing vocals. So let's take a look at it, y'all. This is going to be Afterlife by Avenged Sevenfold. Here we go. Okay, there's the strings. Right. D minor, down a third, down a third. So, so, whoa! There's that flat too. Nice. Such a surreal place to see. So how did this come to be arrived too early? All right, major key. It went to relative major. Four chord song. Back to D minor. That was cool. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I want to talk about this. This is really cool. It's just over a D minor chord, the one chord that they're in, in D minor. Uh, the the uh, the poetry is perfectly written for this little motive. I'm going to go back to the opening line. Uh, lines here, like walking into a dream, so unlike what you've seen, so unsure, but it seems because we've been waiting for you. So they've got uh, four phrases, four poetic phrases, and each of the first three rhyme, and then the fourth one doesn't. And then they do it again, falling into this place, giving you a small taste after of your afterlife. Here, so stay. So they move a little bit there, and you'll back soon anyway. But they go da-da-da-da-da with an E sound, da-da-da-da-da, D with another E sound. And every time they do that, it's it's on the same vowel sign. So it rhymes, and it works 
really well. And then they went into this little major key, relative major key for, uh, I think, is the chorus, and then went right back to D minor. So let's let's catch up with them and see what uh, what the rest of it sounds like. Off we go. This peace on earth is not right. No pain or sign of time. So out of place. Don't want to stay. I feel wrong and that's my sign. I've made up my mind. Whoa. There's that drum section. And there's the... Yeah. <laughs> Five chord, six, four. <laughs> so there's the strings again coming in. Going back to that uh, flat two. He's trying to get out of the afterlife and back home. straightforward progression, but man, they're playing the butt out of it. Nice. I think there was some screaming in the background, but it's kind of fitting into the rest of the sound. It's like conflict. He ended on the C. Are they going major or minor? Major. This four chord progression really gives it more of a, a rock and roll feel than a metal feel to me because of the circular progression. And he's a Over that D minor chord. There's a lot going on in that one. That was quite a lot of fun. Woo! So um, I found a uh, a quote uh, about this from uh, the vocalist uh, M Shadows he says this uh, this song is about looking into a reflection of yourself it uses the sort of metaphor of falling into the afterlife and arguing with the gods and realizing you kind of left too soon and did not do the things you needed to do you didn't get to make up with your father you didn't get to let the ones that you love know that you love them. It's kind of saying live in the moment and be the person you want to be now. 
before it's too late. Uh, you know, my, my wife and I, Megan and I were watching this movie, uh, on Netflix the other day called the Adam project, really fun movie. And one of the, the lines in that movie was on a similar topic. It's later than you think, you know, if you're, if, if you know, you need to do something, if you know, you need to, uh, say something, have a conversation, do something important to get back to fulfillment and contentment in your life or to fix some bonds that that are frayed uh it's later than you think is the line it's later than you think uh so act now right uh so it's a it's an encouragement to us this song to uh to live our best life to say what we need to say to do what we need to do uh before we don't have the opportunity to uh, to do that and to fix bridges and to make our thoughts, intentions, and feelings known to those that uh, we love and that we cherish and that uh, we need to to communicate with. So fascinating stuff. Uh, a, a really, uh, uh, an underlying uh, call for uh, self improvement and like i said living your best life afterlife by avenge sevenfold that was quite a fun little trip uh especially on a metal monday i think i'll try to get to some more from this band in the coming days and weeks but that is all for today and i thank you for being with me uh we'll see you next time y'all on another edition of the daily doug <laughs>